Okay, here's another thing that I'm going to show you guys. Um, a lot of you have been asking me how I do camera shakes and anything like that, like pulses, because I use that a lot on bass beats. I use a pulse. A lot of you have been wondering how I do that, and I'm about to show you. So I've just pulled up a random clip that I had on my computer, and so let's just get started. <clears throat> I've already taken the liberty to make this video widescreen. If you guys need to know how to do that, please review my widescreen tutorial video. And how you do that is you go into pan crop or right click video event pan crop. It'll bring you to the actual clip, its original size and everything. So because I'm going to be doing a, well let's start simple, I'll do a bass bump. I don't have any music on this clip yet, but you guys get the idea. For me, I like to zoom in a little bit so that it's more of a short clip. I'm going to choose a random spot. Um, insert a keyframe here. Just do one. And then I like to keep it as one, two. You can use your keyboard to do this just by tapping the arrows left or right. I like to keep mine two spaces apart. So one, two, and then insert another, and then one, two to finish it off. This is basically going to be your bump, and what you're going to do is this middle one, you just pull it in so it pulses in. And then basically to copy this so it just does it over and over if you want, you just drag your cursor over. It'll make all of them white, control or command C to copy. Then you select where you want the first one to go and then do this over and over and you'll get more and more. So let's watch that. Well, I gotta find it first. Okay, I did that towards the start. So there's your pulses. You just, it's really quick. It looks neat on bass bumps. And you can do it for just any effect in general. So after that, for doing a camera shake now. For camera shakes, I like to zoom in on the clip a little so I have some excess room on the sides here. And then you just basically select insert and just randomly go wherever you want. And probably pull them in a bit closer if you want. It just depends on the actual song and what you're doing. And then just randomly start moving this wherever you want. You can zoom in or out. And then you can actually rotate a little bit so if you want it to shake kind of to side to side. Which that will look like this in the end. Something like that. So basically at the start it was kind of crazy and then the rest is just kind of tilt and whatnot. Um, kind of want to straighten that out right now. <laughs> basically that's just how you play around with the camera shake and whatnot and just make it go really crazy and wild. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you guys for camera shakes and zooms and pulses, anything like that. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below or send me a private message and I will definitely try to get back to you and help you with your answer or make another video if I have to. Alright, see you guys.